Garifuna Coalition is encouraging Garifuna American high school students to honor their heritage through their first annual essay contest. Every student must write an essay entitled, What Does It Mean to Be a Garifuna American? All students from grades 9 through 12 are encouraged to participate. On set to explain more are two members of the Garifuna Coalition, Executive Director Jose Avila and Managing Director Sulma Arasu. Welcome to the show. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. So, can you tell me what went, what was the, what went into creating this essay? I mean, a lot of us are of Hispanic ha heritage, and we don't really know our history. What went into this? Well, uh, absolutely. And for us, it becomes even more complicated because we are Hispanic, but we also have our own ethnicity, Garifuna. And I always like to refer to the fact that w New York City found out that we were here on March 25th, 1990, the Happy Land Social Club fire, where 87 victims died. Well, 60% of those victims were Garifunas, and no one knew it until we started mentioning it. Uh, now, what's amazing was that we have been here since the 30s when we started migrating to New York, and no one really knew. Uh, so that's part of the reason for creating uh, this contest. And also, four years ago, we were fortunate to get the state, the city, and the bar to proclaim Garifuna Heritage Month, March 11th uh, to April the 12th, in recognition of the exile of the Garifuna from the original island of St. Vincent to Honduras, which is how we ended up in Central America. So, a, and, and to make it even more complicated, now we have the first generation Garifuna Americans, ch children that were born in the United States mm -hmm. to Garifuna parents who don't really know the history. So this is a way to maintain the history alive and more importantly, passing it on to the next generation. Can you give me a quick blurb, uh, Sulma, on what is, what is the history of the organization? What is the history of the Garifuna here in um, the United States? And also how you guys migrated from St. Vincent to Honduras and subsequently the United States? Okay, uh, it's, a, it's a very uh, rich uh, history. Uh, it happened during the, uh, 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 the Carib War in 1997. We were actually exiled from the island of St. Vincent. Uh, to the nearby island of Bali Sioux. And on March 11th, like Jose Francisco Avila stated, we were um, placed in a convoy ship and we ended up, uh, due to a subsequent shipwreck, we ended up in the coastline of, uh, of uh, Central America, which was the island of Roatán in Honduras. And then we dispersed from uh, Honduras, to Nicaragua, Guatemala, and, and Belize. And due t uh, to you know the business of uh, merchant marines, we ended up uh, here in in New York. Not right now, we have 200,000 Garifunas living in New York alone, and an estimated 100,000 Garifunas living in Bronx alone. Wow! <laughs> so I, I just want to correct that it was 1797. 1797. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it was in 1997. <laughs> I crossed the numbers. So thank you, Jose. <laughs> <laughs> but, but can you tell me what does it mean to have this essay? A lot of people don't know their history and that sometimes mm -hmm. when you don't know your history, you can't really go forward and go forward as an educated person. Mm -hmm. What does it mean to have this first annual essay contest? I mean, it's it's so important. Uh, identity is number one. When I was in college, I did my research on my culture just to find out who I am, right, and where I come from, uh, just to really get the facts together, despite this 1997. <laughs> but it's important. I, I feel like a lot of young people also battle with the identity uh, crisis. And right now, because of the Garifuna Coalition, a lot of us are beginning to identify ourselves as Garifuna. So we really wanted to give them uh, basically the stage as to say what their experience are to hear their voices what what it is that they want to do and accomplish and what it is to be you know part of, of, of the the fabric of the American and just to get an idea from them to kind of formulate a workshop a six-week workshop around identity to see how they can now uh, spend uh, I guess less time and trying to figure out who they are because we're gonna educate them on that and spend more time on identifying their skills and how they're gonna be successful in the future and also give back to their community as so well. So the essay you could say is sort of the final project from the six-week workshop in understanding who you are. It's actually the beginning of the six-week workshop oh, really? because we want to uh, find out where they are in, in terms of identity-wise and what it is that they're battling and what it is that they want to accomplish and then formulate the workshop around that. 
Okay, mm -hmm. so that's interesting. So the essay is only 300, it's a max of 350 words, which I feel is like a little, it's just, just I guess I'm very wordy. <laughs> so I feel like that's with you. <laughs> a short bit of space to explain who I am, um, who my people are, and where I see myself going. Um, what do you hope, like, ultimately when you evaluate these essays? I know there's going to be a first, a second, and a third prize. What about four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten? <laughs> <laughs> what about the rest of them? Uh, actually, uh, this uh, subsequent program that we're going to, everyone that participates in the essay is going to qualify for a six-week seminar okay. that is going to be provided on identity. So even though they're f uh, for a one, first, second, and third, and everyone will get the opportunity. And the hope is that we can continue this into a more extensive program, and as Sulma mentioned, we can get them involved in serving the community. And, and just uh, uh, as an example, I was born in Honduras, and I came to America at the age of 15. And I always tell the story that it wasn't until I learned English that I found out the true history of the Garifunas. I never knew it when I left Honduras. And I, then I realized that it was because it was written by the British and it was written in English. And uh, just about every one of us has had that experience. So that's, again, part of the process of now trying to instill in the next generation who they are and also helping them identify and know exactly who they are and not only that but also know the history and finding it on their own, uh, by, by their own efforts and their own words. So someone, if, if we have someone sitting at home, a mom or dad or even a kid, um, deciding like, I'm not sure if I'm a Garif Puna, how, how, how do we go about qualifying for this essay and how do we determine if we are a Garif Puna? Uh, actually, I like to describe it as, uh, I guess the Garifunas are kind of easy to identify, and it's an African descendant with a Spanish name. <laughs> 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 uh, like myself, Jose Francisco Avila, uh, and there are, are many others, and typically, again, uh, we are located in Honduras, Guatemala, Belize, and Nicaragua. And, yeah, because the, another thing that's interesting was that those of us that were exiled were the ones that maintained the culture of the identity, including the language. The ones that remain in St. Vincent and the Grenadines today are English speakers, so they lost the culture. And so we were fortunate in a way that we were exiled, ended up in the remote areas of Honduras, and as a result, we were able to maintain it. But again, we are located in Guatemala, Honduras, Nicaragua, and Belize, and anyone from there who looks like me and <laughs> <I just think. laughs> Simple qualifications. Um, so if someone's interested in finding out more about this, is there a website that they can log on to? Is there a telephone number they should call? What should they do? Absolutely. They could log on to www.garifunacoalition.org. Go on, click on Gari Youth, and all the details for the essays will be there as, as well as an entry form. So what's the deadline for this essay contest? It is actually going to be December 30th, December 30th at 3 p.m. 3 p.m., exactly. <laughs> and they can, if they ha have additional information, they can call 718-402-7700. 718-402-7700. So should this be type, double space, times New Roman? Um, how <laughs> should <laughs> I'm just I'm trying to help you out because you might get some... <laughs> All the information is on the website. Okay. As Sulma mentioned, if they click on the Gary Youth uh, tab, there are all the information is, is there. And as far as the 350, we actually use the standard that we found of the typical essay contest there. And as, as it is, uh, we've heard some complaints. Well, is that too difficult? Well, if you're in high school, you should be able to write 350. Uh, definitely. <laughs> definitely. Thank you, guys. Thank um, you. So we look to hear about, um, we look to find out who are essay winner one, two, and three, and also about the program, how the success of the program, and what's next. We will Absolutely. come back to share it with you and the audience. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you so much.